Hello, my friends, to my first video in English. My name is Edgar, and I'm a micro soldering technician with more than 15 years of experience. So I have a YouTube channel in Spanish with a lot of videos and a lot of stuff there. I also do uh, teaching. I travel in so many uh, countries uh, teaching these kind of repairs. And I always want to start a YouTube channel in English, but for me it's a little bit hard for my English, but I'm going to try to do my best to explain everything in the right way, okay? So I'm here, and if you like this video, just subscribe and just say, okay, Edgar, we understand everything because I'm going to uh, start uploading, upload, uploading, uploading video every week, okay? And we're going to start with the simple steps. We're going to start knowing how to do reval, how to use, for example, the multimeter, how to use oscilloscope, and we're going to learn about schematics, uh, about uh, troubleshootings, and we're going to learn a, a lot of stuff in this channel, okay? So today in this video, I'm going to teach you how to remove a circuit without hitting too much uh, the motherboard, okay? Because sometimes when we start these kind of repairs, we damage a lot of stuff, but sometimes it's because we apply too much heat, okay? So I'm going to teach you this is the best way to do, uh, I call the gravity, gravity, gravity method, okay? So I'm going to teach you that method. We're going to use, for example, we have a, a circuit right here, and this is the uh, bolts, okay? The solder bolts, okay? So we're going to put our tweezers right here and here and we're going to apply the heat on the top of the circuit but so in this method we had to lift the motherboard a little bit okay so i'm going to show you my tweezer so let me show you my tweezer because i uh, bent a little bit on the tip uh, my tweezer just to uh, do something like a hug we are going to hug the circuit and, and then we're going to lift a little bit the motherboard okay let me show you in this uh, camera right here so for example i'm going to remove this circuit this is the uh, codec the audio codec this method only um we only we only can use this method with the circuits that don't come with uh with this kind of like a glue okay because we're going to use a gravity method okay so we can use um, this method for example in this kind of circuit with all this glue and the pmu we can use this method too but we can use it right here right here right here right here because if you see these uh, circuits don't come with this kind of uh, epoxy or glue the the black little thing this no little thing the black liquid i don't know the name Okay, so I'm going to remove this one. So many technicians have this problem when they remove the codec IC, they uh, damage the baseband, okay, because they apply too much heat. So with this method, we don't going to damage anything because the circuit is going to, um, to remove in the right time when the solder ball are liquid, okay? So we're going, we're going, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's hard for me to talk in English, okay? And okay, so see. So I have my tweezer, okay? And I have uh, the tip. See, the tip is a little bit like uh, with a curve, okay? Because I always do this right here, okay? And then see, okay, see? I'm going to lift the motherboard just a little bit. Not like this, no, just a little bit like this, okay? Okay, see? And then we're going to apply flux. I use this flux. I like this flux uh, too much. Not too much, much. Or too, too something. Uh, this flux is the brand uh, Wusip, okay? And then uh, we're going to apply a little bit. Okay, see? And then I'm going to hold the circuit like this. And then I'm going to... So I'm using right now an Atem A62D. I like this station, but you have to be uh, careful because this station uh, give too much uh, air. Okay, so you had to you had to um, 
be careful when you are using this one. For example, right now I'm using 370 for uh, for uh, heat, and then I'm going to use 40 for air. Okay, so I'm going to hold this the circuit like this. Okay. And then I'm going to lift the motherboard and I'm going to start to doing some like a circle, cycle. And I'm just going to stay there. When the circuit is ready, so I'm going to uh, have the circuit on the tweezer and the motherboard is going to be uh, down on the, um, on the napkin, okay? So see, um, you only had to be, um, with patient, see? So right now I have the circuit with me. And if, if you can see the motherboard, you can see all the bolts right there. So this is good for, for us because we don't apply too much heat. So when the circuit is ready, when the circuit, all the uh, solder pasta is like uh, ready. So we just hold the circuit and the motherboard is going down and we have the circuit on the tweezer so we don't damage anything around the circuit and this method I use in every circuit I can remember that you can use this method with the circuits that don't come with the with the epoxy you only can use this a metal with the circuits without the epoxy okay and this is the most uh, safe safest metal I know to remove circuits without damage anything okay so just try it and let me know in the comments and i'm going to try to do my best in every video to improve my english and my communication with you okay so just subscribe leave the comment and see you in the next video